hopping on today for a really super easy, quick tutorial. Um, it's uh, pumpkin week right now on um, Rock Painting 101. So I just wanted to share a really simple pumpkin tutorial. Um, there were a few people that were asking for one and so I thought, you know what, I'll just hop on really quick and kind of set up the structure because I think a lot of people just struggle with the original shape of a pumpkin sometimes. So I'm just going to go super simple, little jack-o'-lantern style pumpkin. So I've got um, just a dark orange, a lighter orange, and a green for our stem. And then I've got a black to do some lining, and I'll probably put a little face on him too. So we're going to start and just do our um, shape of our pumpkin. I don't have a piece of paper here. Let me got a piece of paper to work on. I always like to work on a piece of paper so I can you know, doodle on the side to make sure my pen's flowing before I go in for painting. So we're just going to start by creating our center of our pumpkin, which is almost like a uh, an eye shape on its side, just like that. And then next you're going to do, it, the next rib comes out to the side, like so. And you just keep doing that to the side further and further until you like the width of your pumpkin. So we'll do a couple to the other side as well. No matter how big your pumpkin bit gets, it always comes to a point at the top and at the bottom. So I kind of like that shape there. So we're just gonna take and go right away in with our lighter orange color and fill these shapes in. I'm going to fill in the center one here and go right up to that darker orange line and then I'm going to wiggle off just in case I get some of the dark orange on here. Now I'm always going to be pulling my marker up and down the same way. If you're using a brush, same thing. You always want to go the same direction as the ribs on the pumpkin would go. So if you end up with any lines or streaks, they, they fit the shape of what you're drawing. Like so. And last but not least, out here on the edge. Right. I'm going to let that layer dry a little bit. I might come in with more orange. We'll see how it looks when it's dry. So that's our basic pumpkin part. It's just that simple, really. There we go, and then we are going to add on our stem. Now the thing with the stem, you know, find your center of your pumpkin top and pull it up and away. And you've got it on there like so. You can come in and you can also add a little, you know, twirl on there. Um, you could add leaves if you want to. There we go, like so. And sometimes your stem, when it meets your pumpkin, kind of pulls to the outer edge a little bit. Not too much. You see that just that littlest bit off to each side. There we go. And that is really it when it comes to doing a pumpkin. If you want it just to be a pumpkin, there is your basic classic pumpkin. However, I like to make all of my things a little bit cute. If you want to um, outline the entire thing, you can. I'm not going to do the whole out outline. Um, I'm gonna go with my cute little face, but I'm, I'm just gonna give them triangle eyes instead of the normal little dots. So I'm gonna do white set triangle eyes and cute little smile for my pumpkin. And it's just that simple. Isn't he cute? So I hope you, you know, make your pumpkin and make sure you share with the 52 Rocks prompt. And if you do this specific pumpkin, come back and share it in the comments below. Super simple, super easy. I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.